we're going to graph 3x minus 5. And to do that, you use this first. We must look at the last number, which is minus 5. That is the y-intercept. That's where it's going to cross this axis. The y-axis runs straight up and down through the middle. You're looking for a negative 5. So go to negative 5 and make a dot on the y-axis. The slope is 3. You're going to use that slope to make your second dot. The slope is 3, but 3 can be written as a fraction as 3 over 1. Slope is rise over run. If your slope is positive, then it will go up and then to the right. This one is positive, so it will go up 3 and then to the right 1. Go back to the dot that you made and go up 3 and then to the right 1. You now have two dots, which means you can connect those dots up to make the line. So here comes the line. I'm using a tool on my iPad to draw the line. I have to draw it off to the side and then place it where it goes. Notice that this line contains three aspects that each of your lines must have or it will not be correct. Number one, it must be straight. If you turn in something like this, it is wrong. Number two, it must go all the way through the graph like this. If you turn in something like this, it is wrong. Third, it must have, I, must have arrows at either end of the line. Notice arrow here and an arrow there. This graph is y equals a negative 4x plus 6. This is in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. Slope. Y-intercept. To start, you look at the y-intercept, which is the number on the end and the sign before it. That's a positive 6. So go to positive 6 on the y-axis and make a dot. Then go back and look at your slope. The slope is negative 4. That's the same thing as negative 4 over 1. Since it is negative, it will go down 4 and then to the right 1. Go back to the dot that you just made and go down 1, 2, 3, 4 and then to the right 1. Make a dot and then draw your line. Notice that it's straight. It goes all the way through the graph and it has arrows at either end. First thing we're going to do is look at the y-intercept which is negative 1. We will go to negative 1 on the y-axis and make a dot. Then we will go look at the slope. The slope is 5. That is the same thing as 5 over 1. Slope is rise over run. And if it is positive, that means it goes up 5 and then to the right 1. So from that dot, we will go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then to the right 1. Make a dot. Then we will draw the line. Notice that it goes all the way through the graph. It is straight and it has arrows on either end. You need to graph y equals a negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Start by looking at the y-intercept. 
the y-intercept is 2. So we go to 2 on the y-axis and make a dot. Then we look at the slope. The slope is a negative 3 over 4. Slope is rise over run. And if it's negative, that means that you're going to go down 3 and then to the right 4. Down 3 to the right 4. So from that dot we go down 3 and then to the right 4. Make a dot. Down 3 to the right 4. Connect up those dots with a line. Let's see. Oh, that's almost right on it. Goes all the way through the graph. Arrows on either end, and it is straight. Graph this and bring it up to the desk. It is y equals a negative one half x plus five. You're going to look at five first, positive five, and go to five and make a dot on the y-axis. Negative half is your slope. That means from the y-axis intercept, you're going to go down one to the right two. Down one to the right two, make a dot, and then draw the line through it. Notice that this is straight. It has arrows and goes all the way through the graph. All of the practice and examples have been given to you as y equals mx plus b. But now what if it's given to you in a different form? Example, what if it's given to you as 3x plus 2y equals 10? You can't figure out what the slope and the y-intercept is from this without changing it around to slope-intercept form. To do that, you want the y by itself. You have plus 2y that you want to keep where it's at. Move the x term to the right, change the sign, and keep the plus 10. Then divide everything by the number that is with the y. Twos cancel out, so y equals a negative 3 halves x plus 5. If you're given 5x plus 3y equals 12, and you want to graph this, you must be able to put it into slope-intercept form so you can find the y-intercept and the uh, slope. You want to get the y by itself. There is 3y. Leave it. Move this to the right, change the sign. And then divide everything by the number that is with the y. 3's cancel out. y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 4.